Hi, I'm Dr. Ross O'Shea and I'm the course coordinator for the Bachelor of Science degree at La Trobe University. The skills you gain in this flexible degree are applicable to a wide range of science-based careers. Skills like critical thinking, problem solving, data handling and hands-on experience are valued by many employers. And our graduates work in industries in including agriculture, medical research, education and government. The La Trobe Bachelor of Science offers a flexible major structure and you'll hear from course advisors for these majors in a moment. Many of the majors share core subjects in year one and two, so the choices you make at the start can allow you to change your focus or your major in year two. There's also space for other subjects, electives, in each year of this degree, so you can choose subjects from other areas including non-science subjects. You can focus your degree on two main areas to complete a double major, with the second major being in science or a different area altogether. There are pre-designed study plans to show you the way for different majors, but you can also choose variations on these. You can always get help at any stage from a course advisor or from me to work out how to fit together your path you'd like to take. Now let's hear from our course advisors in chemistry, biochemistry and genetics. To study chemistry is to investigate the properties of and the changes of matter. Hi. I'm Keith and I'm going to tell you about our chemistry major. When considering matter and the fact that it surrounds us, it quickly comes apparent that studying chemistry provides answers and understanding of how the world works from down at the nanoscopic level, building up to you and me, and onwards to large objects, and further on to atmospheres and planets. This means that studying chemistry offers a gateway towards knowledge and a career in practically anything you're interested in. Some examples include the development of medically useful pharmaceuticals for the prevention and treatment of illness, medical imaging, substances and reactions that provide energy for humans and our devices to function, the analysis of environmentally impactful processes, and developing chemical methods of reducing potential pollution from human activity, or even new ways to grow food and securing our water supply. For a student studying a major in chemistry at La Trobe University, you get to have at your fingertips everything you need to achieve a lifelong ambition of yours, or to educate and inspire you towards a direction in a particular field. This includes excellent practical facilities to get your hands dirty in training yourself, a diverse range of expertise from passionate academics who are world leaders in their field of interest, and the opportunity to use state-of-the-art equipment that will allow you to observe and measure a substance or process that no one has ever seen before. A student studying chemistry at La Trobe University will encounter an ideal blend of practical experience along with the theoretical training and philosophical insights to be set up to succeed in a broad range of careers. This is demonstrated by the diverse range of careers that past chemistry students at La Trobe have undertaken. These include, for example, environmental consultants, defence scientists, industrial lab laboratory managers, patent scientists, or even groundbreaking researchers. So there's some of the exciting reasons to do a major in chemistry at La Trobe University. Next up, you'll hear from some of my colleagues about majors in biochemistry and genetics. Hello, and welcome to the open day at La Trobe University. My name is Mark Vanzekul, and I am a professor of biochemistry here. I'd like to ask you whether or not you might be a biochemist in the making, and to convince you that biochemistry is the field of study just right for you. But before we get there, the key question to begin with is, what is biochemistry? A quick look on the internet reveals what Wikipedia has to say. It is a study of chemical processes in living organisms. Mm, that sounds maybe mildly exciting, but it certainly isn't why I studied biochemistry many years ago. So here's my take on it. Biochemistry explains life and death molecularly. That may sound rather deep, but bear with me. Just think about this next question. Why are you able to see this video? Right now, you have billions of neurons firing in your brain whilst it is processing what I'm talking to you about. This is possible because of the complex biochemistry that allows the neurons to transmit information between each other. Why are we getting sick? It is because pathogens such as the viruses on the left here have learned how to overcome our immune system. They are able to hijack our biochemical defense mechanisms to infect us. Where do we come from? On the left, you can see an image of the simplest animal on Earth, and it is called Trichoplax. It has all the important biochemical systems that humans have, just in a much simpler and paired back form, 
and we have been able to learn from it how humans evolved over millions of years to functions as we do now. How do we die? On the left you can see human cells right in the act of dying. This involves complex biochemistry to make sure that this controlled form of death, which occurs billions of times a day in each of us, does not make us ill. Can we master disease? When biochemistry goes wrong, it often leads to disease. If we understand how the biochemistry of life works, we can then design therapies to control the biochemistry of disease. I hope that these, all, these examples of what I mean with my opening line of biochemistry explains life and death molecularly give you a much better idea of what biochemistry tells us and why I think it is such an important and exciting field to study. All the examples here are from some of the researchers at La Trobe who teach into the biochemistry course. Let me finish by telling you a little about what you might be able to do with all the hard-earned understanding of biochemistry. There are many careers such as research in both academia and industry, policy development for government agencies or patent law. Other areas might be teaching and healthcare including medicine and there's also law enforcement. These are just some of the many places that studying biochemistry can take you. So ask yourself, are you a biochemist in the making? Thanks for listening. Now I'm going to pass you on to Jody, who will talk to you about genetics at La Trobe. Thanks, Mark. I'm Jody Young, and I'm a course advisor here at La Trobe University for the Bachelor of Science. Today, I'm going to be talking to you about why you might be interested in doing genetics here at La Trobe Uni. So genetics has relevance to society now. There's been enormous recent technical advances in the speed and affordability of genomic analysis, and this has led to huge possibilities in forensics, personalised medicine and biotechnology. Also, with climate change and habitat destruction, we can use genetics to be able to understand the evolutionary relationships that is vital for conservation. Here at La Trobe University, we have two streams when it comes to genetics. The first is our molecular genetics, and this is how biological traits are encoded and transmitted from one cell to its progeny and across generations. So we can use this to be able to manipulate and analyze genetics for medical, biotechnology, and agricultural applications. Our second stream is ecological and evolutionary genetics. And so this is looking at how factors influence the evolution of populations. And so we can use this knowledge to help us address ecological, environmental, and agricultural challenges. So why choose La Trobe? You get the practical experience in our world-class labs, you have the opportunity to do work integrated learning, and you also have researchers on hand that are teaching you, but you get to have discussions about what they're doing. So here at La Trobe, we have several projects that address real world issues. And these are just a couple of examples. So Warwick Grant is investigating an animal model to be able to screen candidate drugs to try and come up with a drug that works on river blindness. And this affects more than 37 million people in Africa. We also have uh, two companies, biotechnology companies here on campus. So Hexama, who are researching and developing plant-derived proteins and peptides for applications as human therapeutics. And we have Adelta, who are developing a unique range of new drug treatments. And they have academics who are on campus who are teaching you. After you've completed your degree, where can this take you? So if you've finished your undergraduate, with some further training, you could go on and become a science teacher, or you could look at becoming a technical assistant in a research lab. You could go on and do honours, possibly become a research assistant. You could look at genetic counselling, look at becoming a conservation biologist. Continuing on, finish your PhD, become a postdoc and end up a laboratory head and being in charge of your own research lab or become a lecturer or look at some science policy advising. Thank you for listening to us today. If you have any questions, please put them in the question box and we'll get back to you. We can't wait to see you on campus.